again, clearing and back lines and playback. <laughs> People of the Silicon Valley, we live in an advanced and technological society. Big companies have been born here. Billionaires, millionaires, how dashing and debonair. So much intelligence created in a garage or born in a basement. The American dream is not just a mirage. So when you drive through the city, expecting to see diamond sidewalks and five star restaurants where people talk and famous people walking their dogs or basking at their mansion on beautiful green lawns. Well, I'm sorry I gotta spoil that picture. I drive through the streets and I see a mixture of litter and trash, drugs and violence, blood on the steeple, the streets of an impoverished and, and homeless people. California is leading with 136,000 homeless people. But not only are we leading, but we are exceeding the other states by 59,000 plus, but society still says there is no one better than us. 70% of homeless in San Jose say they don't have housing. Whether living on the streets or in encampments forever crowding, these people are crying out for help, but we might leave them forever doubting that we will come. You at home may say this is just an issue for SoCal, but leave no doubt that it is not just a clot of people hunted under the SoCal steeples, but 84% of the homeless here lost their housing in the Santa Clara County. If you did not know, we live in the Santa Clara County. We put out this false ideology that nothing is wrong and we bite into it just so we could cover our eyes and hide from the fact that we're in the thick of it. I know a man named John. He's homeless now. He's not an addict, a slacker, or a con. He's a veteran of the United States Navy, but people drive by not knowing he laid his life on the line for us who are free. Now he's on disability. The medical expenses started piling up and he had to make a choice between house and home or being able to go to the doctor for checkups because the system gave him no other choice. I met another guy named Dave, we started talking and I learned him and his wife were in a bitter divorce settlement. He lost his house, his family in shambles, working his butt off writing checks by the light of a candle. He's trying to put his daughter through college now. She's the love of his life, so all the money is going to make sure she gets the education she deserves to have that no one is backing up this loving dad. Both of these guys are not accepted by society, but they also do not fit society's stereotypes about a homeless man like he is a drunk and a sloucher. They were just ordinary people with no luck and no one to vouch for them. We forget them along the side of the road, and maybe we don't forget, but we just let ourselves make assumptions about the appearances and smells that delve upon these victims of tragedy and heartbreak every single day. How can we forget our brothers and sisters pleading for help with the storms and twisters of life seems to be no hope like we will never be able to be a society that is loving, trusting, and kind. Oh, uh, yeah, but then there's you. Yeah, yeah, you. Walking with your friends out of the classroom Hitting the hallway in your vintage Jordan shoes Youth and bright young mind that's inspiring Ideas that spark brighter than lightning You have control over what we do next You're the generation that can change you as for the best Don't be surprised and don't be scared Cause I've seen your accomplishments, I know you're prepared Don't let them tell you that you can't change the world Cause you can and you will just make every voice heard You hold the key to the castle so lead as a servant and show the people that the common man, he matters to you and you will work to make their dreams become true. You can volunteer and give them meals or hand out clothes that make them warm and feel like they are not forgotten and can count on us because we know that they are just down on their luck. Yeah, the young are powerful and have a choice on whether or not to answer the voice so stand up and say i will not let my society dictate who i help with overcoming their tragedies you're not too young and not too far away from being the difference that can make a person's day homelessness isn't going away until you get up and make a change <laughs>